In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a magic loop with six single crochet stitches in it. Before I do that, I want to show you what makes a magic loop so magical. So once you've created the single crochet stitches that go in the magic loop, you're going to be left with something that looks like this. Something that has a really big hole in the middle, which is not what you want because the whole point of a magic loop is that it, you can start a round piece and have no hole in the middle. So the way you get rid of that hole is by holding on to the stitches you made and then pulling on the yarn tail until huzzah, there is no hole in there. So I'm going to undo this and show you how I got to that point. And the magic loop I think is one of the trickiest techniques in crochet. So if you have to watch this video over and over again, don't worry about it. It took me probably weeks to figure it out when I was learning. Okay. So we are going to, hold our non-dominant hand towards us. So whatever hand you normally hold yarn in. Then you're going to hold on to your yarn so that the yarn tail is in the dominant hand. And you're gonna put the yarn in front of your non-dominant hand's palm. And you're gonna wrap the yarn once around your pinky so that the yarn is now behind your hand. And then drape it over your index finger hold on to the yarn with your thumb and your middle finger as you execute this next part, which is creating a loop like so, and then holding on to the intersection point with your thumb and your middle finger. And we're in this awkward position only temporarily. What matters the most at this point is one, never letting go of this intersection until we secure everything and two, making sure the tension between where you're holding the piece and your index finger, so the working yarn tension, is nice and tight. Not too tight, just as tight as it would be if you were crocheting like normal. So now we're going to pick up the hook, put it in the loop from front to back, and now we're going to grab onto that working yarn. So see how I've rotated my hook so that the tip of the hook faces away from me. I'm going to grab onto that working yarn and I'm going to literally bring it back through the loop and twist it while I'm doing so. So watch how my hook rotates. So now the tip of the hook is facing me. And if you're having trouble doing that, it might mean that you're holding on too tight to this working yarn. So you do have to relax it a little so that there's some give so you can bring that yarn over. And then I'm going to push my hook the other way so that I can bring the loop that I just brought up down the hook and I'm going to yarn over again and then pull that through the loop on the hook like so. And now I should be able to let go and I have this loop staying intact. So now you're going to get back into crocheting position, which means holding your non-dominant palm to face you, wrapping the yarn once around your pinky, bringing the yarn up over the back of your hand, draping it over your index finger, and then holding onto your piece with your thumb and middle finger. And for the magic loop, we want to hold all three strands of yarn. So we want to hold onto this loop as well as the yarn tail with our thumb and our middle finger, like so. Still leaving a gap over here on top because that's where we're going to put our hook. You also want to make sure that the loop on your hook is the size that you normally would do when you're crocheting. So one way to check if your stitch is too tight or not is to see if you can cleanly move your hook completely through the loop. If it's not easily going through, then you can just pull your hook away from your piece a little bit to make that loop bigger. See if I pull a lot, I made it a lot bigger. And then if it's way too loose like this, this is also a no-go. You're going to have real sloppy stitches you need to pull on the working yarn until the hook is tight enough in there. Okay. So back to the main attraction. How do we put a single crochet stitch in this magic loop? You're holding on to it. Now we are going to stick the hook from the front to the back of the loop, just like we did before, except this time you've got this extra yarn tail off to the side and you want to keep that yarn tail, if you're right-handed, that yarn tail is always to the left of the loop. If you're left-handed, that yarn tail is always to the right of the loop. So we are going to yarn over and we're going to bring that yarn under both the yarn tail and that side of the loop. 
So remember, we're going to twist it up like so. And remember that you want to, when you bring the loop or when you bring that yarn over through and onto your hook, you want to make sure that the two loops on your hook are roughly the same size. Make sure it's not too tight and that it's not hanging up like over here by the tip of your hook. You remember to bring the loops down the shaft and pull the hook away a little bit so your stitch won't be too tight. Now we're going to yarn over, pull it through both loops on the hook. That was one single crochet stitch. And you can verify that if you tilt your piece. I'm going to take my hook out just to show you. If you tilt your piece to see the rim, like if you're looking at the rim of a tire, you should be able to see that V. So I'm going to put my hook back in, get back in the proper crocheting position, and we're going to repeat that five more times. So remember, put the hook in the loop so that it looks like you've got three strands of yarn on your hook. Yarn over, pull it through past just those first two strands, bring the yarn up and bring your hook away from you and make sure that the loop is down the shaft of your hook so that your stitches won't be too tight. Yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. Sometimes I alternate my grip, by the way. Sometimes I find it easier to hold on to the piece with my thumb and index finger and then use my middle finger to control the tension. So do whatever is comfiest for you. The most important thing is when you're doing this, not to let this loop twist around. So that's why I recommend holding on to the entirety of the loop and not just one side of it. So like so. And I notice I actually completely move my hand. So once I do that initial yarn over and pulling through, I feel like I have more control if I rearrange my hand. So now my hand is holding the piece as close as possible to the hook to complete this last yarn over and pulling through both loops on the hook. Okay, so now I'm on my last stitch, the sixth stitch, like so. And now, for a good practice, in case you don't want to accidentally lose any stitches you made, I recommend pulling your hook away from you by a lot so that the loop for your hook is real big in case you accidentally pull on the working yarn, then you won't lose any of your stitches. And now we are where the video started, where we are going to make this magical. So before you do that, actually, you probably want to check that you indeed do have six single crochet stitches in there. You should be able to see six of these. And then once you've verified that, hold on to the stitches with one hand and then take the yarn tail with your other hand and then pull on the yarn tail until there's no more hole there. And now you might be looking at this and thinking it looks a bit like a U. If you don't pull hard enough, by the way, or if your stitches are really loose, it might truly look a lot more like a U than a, than a circle. So you can do what I just did, which is just forcing it into a circle by holding onto the loop where your hook would go and bringing it up a little. But also it will naturally turn into a circle when you crochet the next round. So I just want to show you where do you put your hook for that next round. And the answer is you're going to the first stitch of this round, actually, of this magic loop is the one where you cross the bridge from where your hook would go to that other stitch over there. So if you're right-handed, the loop for your hook would be in the upper right-hand corner. And then the first stitch that you would then put your hook into is in the upper left-hand corner. So that's this stitch. Now I'm going to get back in crocheting position to just show you what I mean that regardless of, let's just make this loose and just show you, regardless of if your magic loop looks more like a U instead of a circle, once you crochet into the first stitch and then therefore start the next stitch of your round, it's going to be okay. And I'm actually going to take my stitch marker out so that my hook has more room to go in there. If you're having a bit of trouble like I am, you can always use your yarn hand to assist, but also it's probably a sign that you crocheted your stitch a bit too tightly there. So I'm going to make a single crochet stitch. And actually, typically you do an increased stitch here. 
So now you can see how it just works together continuously. And you've now created this circle and now I'm starting on this bigger circle around here.